it's the truth. It, you know, Andrea requires the truth. He requires you to be in the moment, in the pocket. There's no excess with Andrea. You know, you just simply have to be present, emotional, alive. You? I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Patricia. It's a pleasure and an oh. honor to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I, a huge, a huge fan here, but it's oh, a pleasure. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank so, you. I'm going to start like from, from the beginning. Like, you have all these amazing characters that you played before. What was about this script? What was about Eugenia that got your attention? Well, first, Andrea Paloro. I met him and loved him as a filmmaker. I met him in Marrakesh when I was on the jury there many years ago. And then he, you know, I didn't know. Trace at the time was attached, but I, I guess he finally found his Monica in the gorgeous and perfect Trace, and so then I get he sends my agent the script, and um, I, I read it in one day, and responded. I said yes by the end of day in Los Angeles from New York. I said yes to my agent in one day. I, I loved that this man, Andrea, was letting a beautiful transgender actress, and, and I then I knew Trace was uh, was a cast. I knew her from Transparent. Um, I knew she was perfect for this, and, and of course she is, and I, I don't know, I just, I, I said yes very quickly because it was so elegant and eloquent and spare and not exploitive of the transgender journey that it it was about a family and reconnecting and it let a, a, a transgender actress be the center of a film which is rare yeah they're often very supporting characters so yeah i agree with you and and i i mentioned to andrea as well that i, I can relate to the character in in a certain level i'm okay with my family i talk to my family i'm not i did run away or yeah but but i live abroad so when mm -hmm. i go to to visit my family it's kind of a there is this kind of a weirdness when you get there because i'm not living their lives so i, I told him i can relate to that you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's something very amazing that he did there with Orlando on the script. And also you may, you mentioned Tracy, how did you develop this relationship with, with her, like to play because you guys are so together, but at the same time, so distant, you know what I mean? On the, on the, the, the feelings that we see on screen. Well, I had an immediate emotional connection to Trace and that's just, you know, the bodies never lie. I, I felt emotionally connected to Trace from the moment I met her. And we met at a pre Emmy party and I literally saw her across a crowded room and she saw me and I saw her and I thought, oh my God, that's my daughter. She's so gorgeous. I'm going to play her mother. Oh my God. And I'm going to be dying with no makeup on and she's so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> her hair I love her hair I mean, no but she she I I felt an immediate connection and that never waned never never waned it was always present and then as we took several years to find money to get the money together I would see her occasionally when I was in Los Angeles I would see Andrea here and in New York and the three of us came together in a way that all the time it took to raise the capital to make this film was a bonding process for us. So we stepped on that, in that, in front of the camera with a lot of, um, a lot of love, a lot of close ties that could not be broken. And that's what was essential because it was a very quick shooting schedule, not a lot of money. And, um, It was one of the most extraordinary experiences I've had in my career. It's amazing. And you, you also work with Adriana uh, Barazza. 
Oh. Which oh. is oh. also a plus. <laughs> oh. Well, again, from the <laughs> moment I met her, I mean, she's truly one in a bazillion. I, 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 I've never quite met someone like Adriana Barazza in that, I mean, she's a brilliant actress, a powerhouse of an actress, but she brought to this beautiful role and to me um, just a quiet love, a quiet tenderness that was just... You know, as you can see in the film, I really love her. I, she's really, that's why I'm so upset when I think this woman is coming in from, from hospice. I don't, I, I have Ariana Barazza. I don't need anybody else. But I really, um, I'm very thankful that I got to work with Ariana Barazza. I hope to work with her um, again and again and again and again. I hope, hope, hope. Yeah, uh, I think you, 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 Tracy and Adriana, is mm. is a powerhouse of like this power. It it's amazing no. there, and Adriana doesn't have too much. Like she doesn't have too much to say, but, but just her presence. Us, yeah, yeah. You, your face, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, but I, I think what what Andrea did with the cinematography as well, the the, the camera mm. shots, the close ups, that helps a lot on the oh. on your like your delivery to your character i think it's it's amazing and it's it's, it's the truth it, you know andrea requires the truth he requires you to be in the moment in the pocket there's no excess with andrea you know you just simply have to be present emotional alive he is a master he's a master yeah so And did you learn anything about yourself playing Eugenia? I I I learned that I sometimes take my family for granted. I have a very beautiful big family. My parents are still with us. They're 87. I I love them all so deeply and I can never ever take them for granted again. Never. Yeah. I think ever. we all we all do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we, we take for granted we like the life is running like crazy and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never. Yeah. Yeah. And aside Ooh. from from Monica, <laughs> yes. And are you working any new projects? Anything that you can talk about? I have, um, yes, yes. I have a beautiful film. Uh, I'm not sure when it's coming out, but it's called Lily. And it's about the great Lily Ledbetter, who fought for equal pay for women. Obama named his first bill, the Lily Ledbetter bill. And I get to play the one and only great Lily Ledbetter, you know, one of my heroes. It's very hard to play one of your heroes, but... Um, And I have a spy show coming out called Grey. And I'm not sure when that's coming out, but I, it's, a, it's a very cool and subtle and wonderful series. Uh, so we'll see. So I've been working, 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 working. I'm lucky, lucky, lucky. Amazing. So. And if you, if you have to give an advice to your young self, what advice mm -hmm. would you give to you? To, to, your, to you? To my young 18, self. Yeah, 18 year yeah, old ooh. self. <laughs> to my young self. It, I, I, it's all your happiness depends on the choices you make. And for the most part, I think I made good choices, but there were some choices I made that I probably shouldn't have. And I should have. I always knew that it was about the choices for me to make. And, and now I'm making the right choices. <laughs> yeah, with the experience, right? We gave our the, the better choices in life. Amazing. Yeah. 
Patricia, yeah. I, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A uh, pleasure to talk to you. I've been following your career forever. <laughs> and, thank and you so thank much. You You're so, so much. beautiful. You're just uh, beautiful. Thank you. thank you so thank much. You thank so you so much and a lot of success always. And I hope thank to see you. you one day in person. <laughs> oh, oh, that <laughs> would like be this. fabulous. <laughs> If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.